far from us and, and the broadcast is happening on a mobile device you know we use the the big lens to bring the broadcast closer to to our audience you know which is which is why we have this piece of equipment so in fact we are going live right now on periscope as right. we're doing this <laughs> yeah exactly so You're let's see if i you. can just squeeze in here just get, get a, a focal point you know should be quite nice and then we just flip across the video and we'll probably start filming and then should i come yeah, over there carl yeah pretty pretty as easy as that you know and then we will just capture as this head comes down walking past us you know you're also looking for kind of energy you know um and you we we know these days that before crossing this there's, there's quite a lot of noise and the distinctive uh, 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 the kind of call that the villagers do so uh, we're looking for for energy um and that's probably a good indication that a, a crossing is imminent yes. Carl, i can uh, i can just confirm that via periscope we've got a whole lot of hearts coming up on our screen We've got 39 people connected presently from around the world. Um, we can see here there's a whole lot more happening on the morrow here. So, so what's the funniest comment you've ever received on uh, on these on this chat? Um, I think uh, two days ago we actually witnessed the river crossing, and uh, someone asked the question about uh, uh, Mufasa. Yes, what was that? Why did Mufasa die? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so and you know, Lion, Lion King, King and Disney has is, is, is brought a lot of these things you know to the world and. And, and Lion King in, in particular is, is, is from this part of the world, so it's, it's an obvious question, you know. And, and my daughters in particular are, are, f are fond of the, of the animation, and uh, I guess everyone knows Mufasa. Well, and I, I'm going gonna, gonna to just jump in here and see if anyone has any questions about the migration. Feel free to type them and we, we'll try to answer them for, for you right now. Let's see how this goes. Anyway. Yeah, it looks like we, at the moment, we, we are actually just... Uh, perhaps changing the course of, of movement and, and the herd might split up in two um, with too many vehicles. So there is a bit of an anticipation and uh, it, it looks like the guys packed up their breakfast fairly quickly um, because we're kind of in the back end of the, the crossing season here in the Mara, you know, a lot of the herds are, have already crossed so um, the crossings are getting, are getting fewer these days, you know, we're heading but it is uh, early October yeah. already. Uh, so, uh, when is the perfect time to see the crossing? Well, traditionally, in the data that we've collected over the, the last 10 years, you know, um, the months of August and September are absolutely um, your best times to, to view crossings, both on uh, both sides of the river. Yeah, so um, we're just bringing you this uh, broadcast live from the Masamara and uh, brought to you by Make It Kenya. Um, it's her tracker live from the Mara. Uh, thanks to Governor's Camp Collection for hosting us and, uh, and beyond in Kichwa Timber year after and Pullman's Safaris for transport and guiding. Um, it's a wonderful experience that we're having. You've obviously been a guide your whole life. Um, or at least watched guides your whole life. What is, what do you think is the, is the greatest part about seeing someone that's never seen anything like this for the first time watching it? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I grew up in, uh, you know, in the bush myself, and I've seen crossings in the migration, you know, the last 12 years, and I'm probably still the most excited uh, when we bump into the herds and, and a crossing is. Uh, is about to happen you know as i'm standing here i'm absolutely bubbling and it's it's wonderful to see this and i come back every year you know so if i'm here you definitely know you should also be here <laughs> <laughs> and i can see the comments coming up awesome i wish i was there i mean do you guys do you think that you're inspiring people to either visit africa or to take an, take more of an active interest in conservation that's the that's that's the message you know it's uh it's not hard to get to get to the Masamara. You know, you literally fly into Nairobi. There are very, there are many direct flights, and you're 45 minutes away from Nairobi, and uh, it's logistically easy to get here. 
um, and it's we have a saying in the guiding world that the Mara never disappoints. Can't afford you know. it. Someone just tweeted. <laughs> <laughs> there are ways and means, you know, and um, and and that's actually an interesting point. You know, your your biggest kind of um, factor in the cost of a safari, which would be the choice of your accommodation. So there are cheaper options and and more expensive ones, but don't. Don't let it put you off, you know, they, they are definitely more affordable places to stay and that's the, by far the biggest portion of your safari cost. What would you say is your tip to, what would be your, um, your tip for a, a person planning a safari to, to, to say Kenya, what would be like your biggest tip for them? Yeah, it, it would be to, to somehow in today's age and on, 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 on the online space to get to the right people. Planning is key, and you, you got to be in the right time and the right place, you know. So try and get to people that know what they're talking about, and, and that's can put you in the right place, you know. And from there on, it's easy. Right. So um, I personally think that we might just have enough uh, volume and, and numbers here for a potential crossing. So we're gonna. We're going to just go and uh, get a spot on the Mara River and, and wait for an hour or so for them to to get there and then um, with a little bit of luck that CNN seems to have brought us, uh, we might show you uh, a crossing a little bit later. There's uh, her tracker probably signing off from the Masamara and we'll be back in, in half an hour or so. Thanks so much.